I'm Ryan. And I'm Allie. After falling in love, we decided to ride bikes across America. Collecting love advice along the way. This is Love Cycles. No No flatties, no no whammies, no no crashies. Are you sad to be leaving, Allie? I am really sad. I had kind of gotten used to being a cowgirl. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning and was just ready to go. I was ready to go, like, saddle the horses. Allie's a good cowgirl. What's up, Cusco? We'll miss you. (laughs) Bye-bye, buddy. No flatties. Bye-bye, Boot Ranch. We've gone 15 feet from the ranch. Allie's putting flowers in her hair. Yeah, you're looking great. It is a beautiful Saturday to be back on the bikes. It's gonna be a hot one. We're heading to a town called Lusk on the very eastern edge of Wyoming. We hear it's rawhide days. They're having some sort of a celebration. And my very good friends, Bob Alicious and Miss Alicious are gonna meet us and... My ever-loving dad is gonna come down for an evening and we're all gonna enjoy some pageantry and some dancing in the streets. It's gonna be a good old time. These shots are hard to get because there's so many damn deer flies. Ah! This is one of the quietest roads we've been on in all of Wyoming. It's very nice. And there's antelope again off the side of the road. We are doing something that we have not done in a long time and that is hang out in the middle of a road. There's no traffic. That way or that way. This has been a really cool road to ride on because it just goes straight forever and it's continuously rolling. You're never flat. You're going up, you're going down. You're going up, you're going down. It keeps on looking like you're getting to the top of, you know, Wyoming. And then you get to the top and there's another roller. Roadside lunchtime. Huckleberry honey. Usually we like to find shade when we have lunch by the road, but there is no shade anywhere near us. So we're just gonna sit in the sun and hope for a cloud. I was just looking at the Google map of our location to see how far we have to go to Lusk. And I noticed that we are directly north of Denver. We could be home in three and a half hours. But don't worry, we're not tempted to go home. We're going to New York. I would say the cool thing about being so close to home is that our friends and family are all coming up and they're visiting and they're riding bikes with us and partying and saying hi and that's awesome. Choo choo! Yeah! Woohoo! We've been riding beside this coal train for a, a few miles now. It's just going pretty slow. And it gives you a good look at just how much coal is in that thing. There is a ton and I'm asking myself how much power is on that train? How long will all that coal last whatever town it's going to or power plant? It seems like a lot. Anyway, those are my deep thoughts right now from the road. There he is! Hello! How are you doing? Oh, oh, man. It's the Tucson! Oh, good to see you! It's a classic! I gotta wear this! Of course! Oh, she weighs nothing! Bobalicious is famous for his hugs! Take the heavy stuff. <laughs> Bob is taking our bag so we can ride light. What's the lemonade stand? It's called lemonade. What? Can you sell lemonade for 25 cents? <laughs> sales here. But we might have things other than lemonade if you guys want something else. <laughs> oh, these are the Those best. are her faves. You guys are incredible. And we're, right. This is when you want a lemonade stand. Allie and I actually ran out of water today, so we're super thirsty, and this is just perfect. Allie loves lemonade. She is so happy right now. 
Ah, this is so good. You guys are amazing. We'll see you in Lusk. See you in Lusk. Bye bye. Nice work, Brian. Boom. We're here. We thought maybe you could use a a, a new shirt. <laughs> So. It's amazing! Whoa, look That's at this! That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Official okay. Love Cycle jerseys! <laughs> it's always our pleasure. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, that's nice and cold. Yeah. Ah. Just took a shower, you want to take a shower? <laughs> There's no creek nearby here, but uh, creek, yeah. just did you the job. Good. Allie sometimes has flowers in her hair, but also sometimes spiders. Ooh. Look at that. All right, all the way under. <laughs> Time for a wet t-shirt contest. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Hi. Ooh, so good to see you. We have so you many have people friends? intercepting us today. Ali's dad just showed up. Just showed Dear Lord, they brought queso. I love you and I love you and I love everybody <laughs> here. This is a perfect you situation. See what these were made out of? What are they made out of? All these beans. Black bean chips. Um, Cheers. 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 That is real deal thunder. I'm not adding special effects in the edit. It has been raining all night and thundering all night and super windy. <laughs> but luckily we've, we've been cozy in our tent. I'm gonna use this lemonade stand to stay warm. Is that okay, Bob? That's not That's offensive. Right with me. It's not offensive, is it? How you doing no, today, bud? I'm doing good. <laughs> um, you excited to ride bikes? Or, no, uh, no, I am so not excited to ride, ride bikes. <laughs> I don't know if I am either. Maybe we should have sit at a cafe all day. So Bob says he's not excited to ride bikes. Are you excited to ride bikes? I'm always excited to ride bikes. Okay, good, at least somebody is. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife wants to ride bikes. You can go first. She can go first. How are you feeling, Ollie? I'm cold. <laughs> I slept about three hours last night. Ooh, it sounds but good. I've gone to hang out with my dad. Ah! So what do you think? You want to share some advice with us? Got any it's hearty nice. words of wisdom? You started out looking for love, for the right chip of love between the two of you. But you moved on into the general nature of love you you know with people that you are entirely outside of your sphere and you found there you know this common humanity and that's something that this country really needs right now that's all kinds of love it's human love and it's love for humanity it's love for our country and the whole world Group hug! <laughs> when's the last time you rode your bike any distance I do remember I rode my first century uh, June 21st, but then found out century is actually 100 miles, not 100 minutes. So oh. uh, June, uh, no, I don't remember the date, but it was uh, 2009, I think, the last time I rode 85 miles. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, All I don't... right. You can do it again. This is our nine year anniversary. They call him the Lance Armstrong of the big men. He yes. brought his townie and he's riding with us 85 miles to Kansas. Holy crap, 85 miles? Yeah, it's gonna be a far, <laughs> it's a long one. Bob met me when I rode my cruiser bike across the country in 2009. Bob and Michelle met me and we rode for a couple days together and it was beautiful and we had some great happy dances. And we're in luck today because we're gonna cross the border and go to Nebraska. And we're gonna relive the happy dance. Ladies and gentlemen, first up today at Love Cycles is Miss Alicious. How you feeling? Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> I am feeling rainy. Rainy and cold. <laughs> and wet. No. Go team! No crashies, no, no whammies, no buddies. No Everybody gets kisses. All, right. All roads lead to Nebraska. <laughs> First legs. First legs. First legs. I did it. Did it. Who, who's up next? Bobalicious. Bobalicious. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Is your butt ready? Oh, my butt's ready. Bobalicious picked these for me. Aren't they the loveliest? They are great. They're gonna bring some sunshine to this cloudy day. That way is New York. Start pedaling. I'm, I'm only going to Nebraska. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's sing our favorite song, Bob. Is it? 
Ole! 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 The bike feels good. You guys are so nice to go nice and slow for me. It's it's good to be out here. Look at that. It's so exciting. You're gonna have a baby. Woo! All right, bye. Uh oh, look at that, it's Nebraska! Bobalicious has been waiting for this moment all day, maybe all of his life. Here we go, Bob, let's do this! Yeah! Woo. Nebraska, we're coming for you. Turn around. Oh boy, yeah, nice and muddy. We're bringing Wyoming with us. A little bit of Wyoming dirt. Hey guys, look, there's some blue sky! Right there! This Hello, is Mr. Sky! Yeah, movies! Thank you, Nebraska, for the paved road and the big shoulder. We're loving it. Just like your sign says, this is the good life. And we're so thankful that the rain has stopped. The forecast called for rain pretty much all afternoon, but it stopped, which is very nice. Cue the happy music. I am so happy that Bob and Michelle are here. I've been looking forward to this for like two weeks. They are just so sweet and kind and loving and caring and generous and goofy. And I feel very fortunate that I have them in my life. And extra fortunate that they're here riding with us. These kind of moments that just make you feel very loved and happy. My heart is very full. I figure since we're out in the middle of nowhere, we've had a beautiful day of riding so far. This is a good time for some love advice. And you two have been in my life for a long time and I was fortunate enough to be at your beautiful wedding. and. I look up to you in many ways and uh, go. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I really think the key to long lasting love is wanting to be together. I think it's really the only key. Yeah. You either do what you need to do to find something that works for both of you so you can stay together or you don't. It's really simple. Mine goes down to the communication. Um, you're together and you're with someone and the, the, the truth is you know you want what's best for you you want what's best for them and they want what's best for you and you want they want what's best for them and it's not always the same thing and you have to talk about it and you don't want to be unclear you know say um this bike ride you know if Michelle didn't want to do the bike ride, which we both wanted to do. It just, you know, um, and she would have said, yes, you know what? Let's go do this bike ride. Cause I know what it means to you. And we'd have done the bike ride. And then she would have not been happy. And you know, if she's not happy then I'm not happy. And, and you just really have to communicate that w what you want to do or what you don't want to do. And then sometimes you do what you don't want to do to support the other person. And when that happens, you do it wholeheartedly. You do it because you're making the other person happy. You don't agree to do it and then be like, well, I don't want to do this, so I'm just going to make everyone miserable. Just, you know, when, when, when you want to do something, just communicate and, and make sure everything is um, talked out so that you're all on the same page. Com compromise is a, kind of a dirty word. It means like somebody wins and somebody loses, but it doesn't have to. Yeah. I mean, you got to figure out why you want to do something and what the underlying interest in that something is and find something that suits both of yours. What do you do during the hard times? You know what you do when you're pissed at him? You go up to him. He's not wearing glasses. Someone hold those and you grab him and you don't let go until he hugs back. Touch is really important. Yeah. When I'm really angry at him, I just reach over and touch his arm or his hand because then I remember how much I love him. And when she's going crazy and I have no fucking idea why, <laughs> I go up and give her a hug. Because one time she told me when I'm acting that way, I'm, I just don't know what I want and I need a hug. 
And so even though she doesn't really want the hug at the time, when I go up and I give her the hug, then she realizes, oh, maybe I need a hug. Touch. And, Touch. and that helps. Makes it all better. Yeah. Bob's a pretty funny guy. Talk about humor in, in the role of love. <laughs> you gotta have humor and laughter. Michelle, Michelle says it better. She's like, you know, even after, so we've been married for nine, we've been together for 12. Um, it's the little things that make her giggle. And <laughs> it's, it's, it's more important to have someone that makes you happy in makes your you life giggle. and makes you giggle than just about anything else about it yeah because they're gonna make you happy and if someone makes you happy i mean you're you you're winning be with them yeah and then you'll do whatever it takes to figure out how to be together it's really a nice little circle isn't it yeah <laughs> and on a personal note something that uh, michelle taught me i'm just adding adding this in there is when they have one or two bites of food on their plate <laughs> <laughs> that's not for you. They're saving the best bites for themselves for last. It might feel like you're giving up your independence to compromise with someone, but you have to weigh that against all of the things you gain by being with the right person and the things that you get from being with them that you wouldn't have on your own. I mean, independence is great, but at the end of the day, it doesn't snuggle very well. Oh, 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 you guys. Love you guys. Ah, when it gets kissed. <laughs> this is what you call hotel parking lot gourmet. Cheers. 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 Cheers.